Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I am coming to you from the 10,000 Islands at Cocoa Beach and I want to talk about mangroves. Look all around me. We're in 360 and there are mangroves everywhere. Uh, there's three main species of mangroves found in the Indian River Lagoon and that's the red mangrove, the black mangrove, and then the white mangrove. So the one that grows closest to the water or actually over the water is the red mangrove. But take a look over here. We can see right over here, these are the prop roots of the red mangrove. And they actually grow over the water, propping the trunk, which we see right there above the water. And when we look at a red mangrove, these are the leaves of a red mangrove right here. Very, very uh, shiny, very luscious, very thick, very green leaves. And there's a few other parts to it I want to point out. This right here is called uh, an aerial root. So it's a root that actually comes down from the tree limbs and will eventually reach the bottom. And once it does, it's then called, uh, it has another name. Um, what else is around me? Uh, let's see here. We have some other, oh, over here, we see growing along the bank on this side, are these things called pneumatophores. Let me get a little closer. These pneumatophores are the root structures of the, or of the black mangrove. They're kind of like cypress knees. They stuck up out of the bottom. And what they do is they help to aerate the roots because all this soil out here is very, very anoxic. So if I was to show you a black mangrove leaf, this would be it right here. It's very shiny on one side, very, a very light colored, very green on the other. So that's two of the three mangroves. The third one is called the white mangrove. And there's some actually right here uh, in front of us. This right here is white mangrove, uh, right here, if you see it. Um, and this branch right here. And the leaves of the white mangrove are more oval shape. So take a look at that, very oval shape. And they actually have these little pores at the base of each leaf that secretes, a, that secretes a nectar that attracts ants. And those ants actually help protect the mangrove from herbivores, grazers, uh, that could be eating on the leaves. When the leaves get shooken up, uh, the ants will become active and come out there and sting or bother the herbivore that's feeding on, feeding on them. So three types of mangroves around here. Take a look around. We have the red, the black, and the white. And that's in the proper order from closeness to the water to inland and all three of these can survive in saline conditions and actually thrive unlike many other plants they uh, they're great they have several important purposes they're great for uh, anchoring sediments to prevent erosion and an amazing nursery ground for small organisms to hide amongst all these roots that we see around us and also uh, primary production massive amounts of primary production photosynthesis leaf biomass being produced drops in the water bacterial decomposition, small shrimp, small organisms feeding on that, and that energy then gets passed on up the food chain. So a little bit on mangroves, and thanks for watching.